We're no different from the national figures. We are uh, getting busier year on year. We had about a 9% increase in the number of patients this year, uh, compared nationally about 6%. Every day is busy. We see somewhere between around about 270 patients a day. Some days can be a bit quieter when we see maybe 250. Uh, other days we see in excess of 300. It's a mixture of very poorly patients, um, patients who have the potential to become very poorly, who present to us in the early stage of disease, and um, are patients with minor injuries, and then children. The number of not quite so poorly patients that are coming to see us is also increasing, and there clearly is there's a group of patients who it perhaps would be better if they sought health care elsewhere, but are perhaps not aware of the options that they have. We've put a lot of effort here at the Royal Berkshire to make sure that we can deal with the rising number of patients attending. Certainly we've put a lot of effort into looking after the more poorly patients um, and seeing the, the most acutely unwell patients very quickly and making sure that their pathway through the emergency department onto specialist care is very quick. We've also put a lot of effort in for our minor injuries patients. We've developed an extended nurse practitioner minor injury service so you'll be seen very quickly uh, and have your treatment completed and out of the department in, in super quick time uh, and that relieves a lot of pressure from the department but if the pure numbers keep on coming in without any let up, we're no different from any other emergency department, we will start to struggle. The most poorly patients are those patients who present with sepsis, so infection that's overwhelming. Then the next sort of category of patients are patients who present with heart, heart problems, so heart attacks or funny rhythms of the heart when the heart stops beating or is racing. And uh, then our trauma patients, so severely injured patients from car crashes primarily or a pedestrian that's hit by a car. So they are our three main groups of desperately unwell patients that present to us. Obviously because they're very poorly they take a significant amount of our doctor time and number of doctors to help them get better because they're so poorly. Which obviously will divert some of our resources away from other areas of the department. We are a consultant-led service. Patients are, are seen and reviewed by a consultant. We aim to do it within 15 minutes. Nearly always we're on arrival as a patient comes in and that allows a consultant to direct what treatment uh, the patient needs and whether they need any immediate speciality involvement. For the patients arriving by ambulance they tend to be the critically ill patients so they will be seen by a senior doctor, so that's either a registrar or consultant within the first 15 minutes. Patients who come in from the waiting room, so those are patients who've self-presented, tend to be of minor injuries. They will be seen by a nurse who can offer analgesia if they're in pain and then they'll be seen by an emergency nurse practitioner or one of the doctors. We reintroduced the emergency nurse practitioner service about two years ago where we've employed very specialist nurses who've got an A&E background. They take histories from patients with minor injuries and illnesses. They will diagnose those patients probably using a x-ray most of the time and treating those patients and sending them home. We were one whole department, adults and children, there was no segregated area for children to come in and three years ago they opened up this department that was visually and audibly um, separate, it's sort of child orientated in the fact that we've got toys, we've got books, we've got television, so it's trying to relieve that anxiety when they come in and making sure that we can make them happy and relaxed as possible. When patients arrive in the emergency department, usually they're very anxious and that can be for several different reasons. If a patient is critically ill, then they are anxious about their own illness, but also the relatives are usually more anxious than they are and they're needing a lot of compassion, a lot of care and looking after and explanations of what's going on and what treatment we're giving and what the expected time of recovery will be. The emergency department is really for emergencies. If it's something a little bit more minor, there are other options. So if you've had your medical problem for a few days or maybe weeks, then you can make an appointment with your GP and they can see you. And if you need hospital care, they can refer you straight into a speciality. Other options are you can go to a pharmacist who can give you advice about minor um, illnesses and they can also give you some treatment over the counter. There are also walk-in centres and minor injury units which are run by nurse practitioners who can also treat, treat those patients, diagnose them and discharge them. I think to be an emergency department consultant you have to be a dynamic 
consultant it is hard work you're on your feet a lot you have to be very adaptable for change because you know you, you don't know what we're going to get in at any one moment so walking through the door could be as somebody having a heart attack or a child who's just had a seizure for example or a car crash just outside the hospital so you've got to be readily adaptable for change so in those particular times when we're having a lot of very poorly patients come in, patients who walk in with non-life-threatening injuries may find that they, they wait a bit longer. But I'm sure if they were in the position of being in that really poorly patient, they would want to be seen now and straight away, which is what we do. I can't fault the treatment and um, the care that I received. So when I got here, the ambulance men brought me in and there was a team of people already waiting for me that knew of what was happening, um, how I'd been feeling at home, um, what the doctor, my surgery doctor had done um, and she'd obviously spoke to them anyway and then the ambulance crew had spoke to them on the way in. Um, so it was at that stage reassuring, it was just sort of when they moved me round to <laughs> resource that I started to panic a little bit. But no, overall I can't sort of fault the care and, and the attention I did receive. The first thing you feel in my position is gratitude, that's the first thing because um, you, I can. I will never be able. I will never know what would have happened had I not had the treatment. Um, um, worst case scenario, I wouldn't be sitting here. The team here at Reading are just outstanding uh, in in what they do. From you know the major consultants through the nursing staff uh, and the people that look after you generally. In, in, uh, you know on the ward, it's just a magnificent place to be. Not a place you want to be, but if you need it. If, if you are in that condition that you need someone to help you through a stroke, I wouldn't want to be in any other place, to be honest with you. I love working in the emergency department. I've worked here over 20 years now, and it's really the variety and the energy and working with a real team that really pull together. Although we all we have senior sisters and sisters and consultants and senior doctors and junior doctors, we're all very much part of a team. And at the centre of that team is the patient. And all we want to do is help the patient and make the patient get better. And that's where our focus is and where it will remain. Mm -hmm.